Alright, so I started another batch of those zucchini slices in the dehydrator yesterday. Let them run overnight, and today I have three half gallons full of those snacks. And, you know, they're really enjoyable. I do like them, and they're nice and crispy like chips. But a lot of people ask, well, what happens when you rehydrate them? Could we make lasagna out of this? So I figured I might as well try a couple of them. So I kept a couple of the, you know, the chunks out and got a bowl of warm water like we always rehydrate everything and I just put them in there and I'll leave them for about an hour and hopefully by then we'll you know have the answer of exactly what happens to them so in the meantime I've got some time to waste I'm going down to the garden and you can see it's early in the morning and sun's coming up and these sunflowers are just amazing they're just uh, completely full of flowers everything is open today and um, you know they'll probably only be around for about another week or so so you got to enjoy them while they're like this and the birds will soon start in and come in and start picking them apart and really um you know eating them up and getting ready for winter and you can see the giant ones haven't put heads on yet but they're about 12 feet tall so you know they're going to be pretty spectacular when they do so i've got the three bins of the eggplants here and you know, I'm just going to go out there and start cutting them. And these little Rosa Biancas in the first bin, boy, they have some little tiny thorns on them that are just kind of like a needle that when you touch them, they, they break off and they get stuck under your skin. And they are annoying. Um, next time I pick them, I'm going to have to put on a pair of gloves just to keep from getting all punctured up with those things. But you can see there isn't really a, uh, you know, really big harvest yet. There still are quite a few on the plants that are smaller, and I left them. But I did get enough to uh, prepare a batch for lunch and for the freezer. So back up to the zucchini an hour later, and here they are. You can see they're, you know, they're not quite as thick as they started out, but you can see they're really uh, quite stretchy and tough um, before you could pull them right apart. Now they're actually kind of like an inner tube. You can yank on them, stretch them, and they spring back. So, you know, it's really, uh, it doesn't really look good for being able to reuse these things in something kind of like a lasagna or something like that, that you really don't want to have to eat with a steak knife. So, um, you know, there's what happens. They do, they do rehydrate back nice. And um, I tried eating one there, and it was definitely very rubbery. So, you know, I really wouldn't recommend them for that use. But, you know, when they are dehydrated, they do make a great crispy snack. So back to the eggplants, I just thought I'd show you a little bit about how we prep them. I have a video back a ways I'll put a link to at the end. And you can see I, I sli peel them and slice them. My wife breads them and stacks them up there. And then I get out this fry granddaddy here and it's a perfect thing for cooking them up a little bit at a time and it does a really good job and about an hour later I've got the everything all cooked up and um, you know there's lunch right there on the table and luckily we couldn't eat them all so got 10 bags of them to throw in the freezer and these do really stay nice in the freezer um, they freeze well and the air fryer just crisps them up so nice without making them mushy on the inside so you, there you can see we do try to get everything right out of the garden and prepared and put in the freezer or canned as soon as we can after we pick it. And uh, as for the zucchini, I'm going to say I don't recommend rehydrating it for the lasagna purpose. You could cut it up and throw it in soup or something like that, but just uh, kind of like rubber strips. So you can see I got some blurry shots here of the bees out there this morning picking up the pollen and you can see kind of those big yellow sacks of pollen on their back legs there. That's pretty amazing. And all this will be gone in a week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.